Hello guys, recently on this channel I received this comment and decided to make a video. So how can you update multiple records? For example, if you get the updates from Excel sheet or from wherever like a collection or an array of records and you have a database table and you need to batch update with, for example, quantity of units for current units table in this example of a sheet. I asked my colleague Modestas to quickly create a demo and together after some research we came up with three potential solutions. It's not that simple to update multiple records. So let me show you three ways and in the comments below comment which one did you like best or which you used in your own situation. So one way is to use absurd which is a pretty new addition to Laravel. I think it was added to Laravel 9. So imagine you have a collection or an array like this. You have product ID and quantity and then you can do something like this. So model absurd you pass all that array you define the primary key what to update on. So that would be where condition and then what fields to update. That would be quantity in this case in array. And this would be the result imported. So the controller doesn't return anything. It just dumped the new values which are updated successfully. But here's an interesting part, the SQL query. So in Laravel debug bar, this is one query. So absurd tries to execute insert into and the most important part on duplicate key update. So it utilizes MySQL or SQL driver native capabilities to do absurd. And in case of that record doesn't exist, it would create it. However, this absurd has some limitations. So as Modestas said in the comments below, like a warning, and the same is in the documentation of Laravel itself, all databases except SQL Server require the columns in the second argument to have primary or unique index. In our case, product ID should be either ID column of the table or product ID, which would be unique index on the database level. Also separately, MySQL database ignores the second argument and always uses the primary and unique indexes. Also with that, we haven't tested it with a lot of data. So what if instead of 20 records, we have 20,000 here? If you have used absurd itself, comment below if you bumped into issues of like too long SQL query or some other limitation on database level. So anyway, the first approach is to use absurd. The second approach is to use a Laravel package for that pretty old one, but still popular and still available in maintained Laravel batch created as you can see six years ago, at least according to the license commit, it allows you to do something like this batch update, then the model, the values and the index pretty similar to what update does with absurd which I've shown just a minute ago. But let's try it out. In fact, I already have that code. So in another controller, instead of absurd, we're doing something like this. So batch update, the package is already installed with composer require. So current unit model, units array and product ID value. Differently from absurd, it would not create new entries. It would just try to update existing ones. So if we launch that one, interestingly, it will also be one query to the database, but it would look like this, which is pretty ugly and untypical if you ask me, but it works. So update units, set quantity, and then case when with a lot of conditions. So if product ID, then this value, product ID, this value, and all the products listed here until product ID 41 else end. Else quantity means for other products, the quantity is unchanged and then updated add as well. And this query ends with where product ID listing the same product IDs. Again, we've tried it only on 40 products. Would it work with 40,000? Have you tried it? Shoot in the comments below. But anyway, this is the second way to use Laravel batch package by Mohammed Ganbari. So thank you, Mohammed, for providing this package. So those both ways, absurd and the package would try to execute one SQL query in kind of more performant way. But there's the third, the good old way of doing for each loop. In my testing, it wasn't slower. So why couldn't we do something like this for each controller, the same array or collection of data. And at the end, you do something like this for each of the units of that array, you do update or create. You can do just current unit where ID update 
if you want to just update but if you want to be similar like absurd in the first example update or create this would be the syntax so if we execute that the downside of that is the amount of queries but they are all relatively fast at least in my testing so select where product id and then update as i said another approach would be for example current unit where product id unit product id update and here quantity unit quantity copy and paste like this then it would not even get the record so this query should not be executed let's actually refresh and try it out yeah exactly so only update so if you need only update you're fine to do where and update but if you need to create new records if they appear then you would be better with update or create again asking you guys which way did you use did you try to use it on bigger amount of data and did it fail did you try the performance shoot in the comments below so this lesson was about features of eloquent and if you want to dive deeper into eloquent i have the course called eloquent the expert level i will link that in the description below but all the courses that you can see on the screen are available for premium members of laravel daily.com subscribe to that and see you guys in other videos